Tanisha, what are you doing? I was just... I thought I told you already. If I saw you talking to this old man again, you'd be fired. No, Greg. Please don't fire me. I need this job to pay for my grandpa's medicine and to go to college. I don't care about your stupid sob story. Get your stuff. You're fired. Just step aside. I'm afraid this is my fault. I was the one that was talking to her. This is none of your business, old man. Sit back down and finish your food. Actually, my name is Stan Olson, and I own this place. And the other 30 diners all across the country. Good morning, Grandpa. Ah, good morning, sweetheart. Here, I brought you some breakfast. Wow, this looks amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah, uh, my hands, they're not what they used to be. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You're so good to me. You've always taken such good care of me. It's the least I can do. So what am I gonna do when you go to college? Well, you might not have to worry about that after all. Why do you say that? College is so expensive. I've been working at the diner and saving up for months and I still can't seem to have enough money. You just need to have some faith. If you keep working hard, and being a good person that you are, good things are gonna happen for you. I can see it. Thank you, Grandpa, and I will. Well, I have to get to work now or else I'll be late. Okay, you have a great day. Make me proud out there. I will. I love you, Grandpa. I love you too, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. Tanisha! Does it really take this long to organize these ingredients? We got customers. Go take some orders. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hello, sir. Uh, My name is Tanisha and I'll be helping you today. Do you know what you'd like to order? Uh, yes, I would like the steak and eggs, please. But please don't tell my wife. She doesn't like it when I eat too much red meat. She says it's bad for me. Your secret's safe with me. My grandpa eats steak and eggs all the time. Is that right? He must be a smart man. He is. He's taken care of me my whole life. What about your parents? Oh, uh, my parents died when I was little. It's just me and my grandpa now. Sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you have each other. Thank you. Me too. Uh, excuse me. I'll be right back with your order. Come with me. Feeling chatty today? I'm sorry, Greg. I was just trying to be polite. Don't apologize. Just move faster. There are plenty of other trashy waitresses out there looking for work. You're not special. Now get out there and take some more orders. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hello, sir. Do you know what you'd like to order? It's about time. I'll just have an egg white omelet with spinach and hurry it up. I've been waiting for a while. I'll have that right out for you. Tanisha, this food's getting cold. You need to move faster. Take it to the old man. Okay. Let's go. Here you go, sir. Thank you, Tanisha. That looks delicious. Is there anything else you want me to get you, sir? Well, you know, actually, I would like you to stop calling me sir. <laughs> it makes me feel old. Call me Stanley. Okay, Stanley. So tell me a little bit about yourself. You've been working here long? A few months. Not in school? I'm trying to save up to go to college. That's great. Yeah, um, I might not be able to go though. My grandpa's really sick and I have to pay for his medication. With that, it's really hard to save up anything. That's a really big responsibility for a young woman. What does your grandpa have to say about all that? Well, he really wants me to go to school. I'd be the first person in my family to go, and it'd make him really proud. I have a feeling that everything is gonna work out great for you, especially if you keep working hard. Thank you, I hope so too. Enjoy your meal. I'll be right back. Tanisha, we got food getting cold here. 
I'm not paying you to stand around talking all day, especially to some homeless old man who's probably not even gonna pay his bill. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. If I see you yapping to that old man one more time, I am gonna fire you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Get this food out, let's go. Here you go, sir. Um, what is this? It's your order. I ordered an egg white omelet with spinach. This clearly has yolk in it. I'm really sorry. I can go back to the kitchen and get you a fresh omelet. I don't have time for this. I'm already running late. First, you take forever to get to my table, and now my order is messed up. What kind of place is this? I'm really sorry. I can get you a rushed order. It should only take a few minutes. Hi, how are you doing today? Terrible. Your waitress messed up my order. My apologies, sir. We'll get this taken care of for you. And your food, it will be on the house. Whatever, just get me my food. I can't believe you embarrassed me in my restaurant like that. What happened? I swear, I wrote down egg white omelet on the order. The kitchen must have accidentally given him a regular omelet by mistake. Okay, so now it was the kitchen's fault. You don't want to take responsibility for your mistakes, do you? No, I just- I don't want to hear any more excuses from you today. And that omelet, it's coming out of your paycheck. No, Greg. Please don't take it out of my paycheck. I need every cent I can get to save up for college. <laughs> Girls like you aren't good enough for college. <laughs> What are you crying? There's no time to cry here. Now get out there and hurry that old man up off that table. And if I see you yapping with him one more time, I will fire you. You're already on thin ice, Tanisha. Go! Yes, sir. Hi, Stanley. Is everything okay? I, I'm just... I'm just having a little trouble cutting my steak. I'm really sorry. Is it not cooked right? No, the steak is fine. It's my fault. My hands just aren't what they used to be. Here, let me help you with that. You're too kind. It's no problem. I do this for my grandpa all the time. Is that right? Yeah, he has trouble with his hands now, too. You really are a sweet granddaughter, taking care of him like that. Thank you. Tanisha! What are you doing? I was just... I thought I told you already. If I saw you talking to this old man again, you'd be fired. No, Greg, please don't fire me. I need this job to pay for my grandpa's medicine and to go to college. I don't care about your stupid sob story. Get your stuff. You're fired. Step aside. I'm afraid this is my fault. I was the one that was talking to her. This is none of your business, old man. Sit back down and finish your food. You know, I've been watching you today, and I don't like the way you run this diner. Excuse me? What do you know about running the diner? Well, actually, I know quite a bit. Yeah, sure you do. Actually, my name is Stan Olson, and I own this place, and the other 30 diners all across the country. I'm so sorry, sir. I had no idea. I'm sure you are. Otherwise, you wouldn't have treated your staff so badly right in front of me. Uh, well, well, you saw how incapable some of the no, waitresses are. Actually, I think you're the one that's incapable. And there is not a space in Stan's Diners for a manager like you. You're fired. You're going to fire me. Who are you going to get to run this business? Uh, how about this young lady right here? What? Yes, yes, you are exactly the kind of person that I like to employ at Stan's Diners. You are kind, you're a hard worker, and you're caring. You took the time to help an old man in the middle of your very busy shift today while this jerk was yelling at you. Not everybody would do that. I would like to offer you the position of manager. Really? Yeah, and that comes with quite a increase in salary. Do you accept the job? Yes, of course. That would be awesome. <laughs> You're going to give my job to her? Yeah, I just did. I can't believe this. You know, 
Why don't you get your stuff and get out of here? You're done. And I have another surprise for you. I want you to have this. What? A check for $50,000? Huh. I can't accept this. Nonsense. This is... You deserve it. That money is going to help you pay for your grandpa's medicine and for your college. Really? Thank you so much, Stanley. Well, you're very welcome. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> yeah, you're very welcome. Tanisha was able to use that money to pay for her grandpa's medication. She eventually went off to college and graduated top of her class. On the other hand, after getting fired, Gray wasn't able to find a job due to his angry personality. After a few months of not working, Greg ended up being homeless and is now in the streets begging for money. Where'd everybody go? Where's my food? Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And remember, always take the time to be kind to others. And don't forget, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place, one story at a time.